a French naval officer, oceanographer, undersea explorer, and researcher who studied the sea and all forms of life in water. Jacques Cousteau was born on June 11, 1910, in Saint André de Cubzon, Gironde, France. Jacques was the younger of two sons of his parents. His elder brother was Pierre Antoine. His father, Daniel Costel, was a lawyer, while his mother, Elizabeth Duranthon, was the daughter of a wealthy landowner. Costel suffered greatly from enteritis and anemia during his childhood. Also as a child, he loved swimming and learned to swim at the age of four years. In 1918, when Costel was eight years, his father was made a legal advisor to Eugene Higgins, a wealthy New York expatriate. The Costel family had to travel along with Eugene all over Europe. During this period, Costel attended the Holy Name School in Manhattan. He learned underwater diving at a summer camp on Vermont's Lake Harvey. In his teenage, Costel developed an interest in mechanical things. When he was 11 years old, he constructed a model of a marine crane. When Costeau was 13 years old, he was admitted into College Stanislaus, a boarding school in Alsace, France. When he completed his college education, Costeau joined the French Naval Academy, also known as the École Navale, at Brest, France, in 1930. He graduated from college as a gunnery officer. Soon, Costeau was posted to the naval base in Shanghai, China as the second lieutenant at the naval base in Shanghai, China. In his free time, Costeau often recorded several places in Siberia and China. Due to his burning desire to become a naval pilot, Costeau later joined an aviation academy. In 1933, Costeau was involved in a near-fatal automobile accident in which he almost lost both his arms. Though this accident didn't claim his life, which it nearly did, it amputated his career to become a naval pilot. Costeau took to swimming to rehabilitate his arms. This also increased his interest in the sea. He was gifted with a pair of Fernie's underwater goggles by his friend Felipe Tailles. The undersea world fascinated Costeau and that turned out to be the beginning of his lifelong association with oceans and oceanic life. Costeau served on the Cordyceps in Toulon, where he conducted his first underwater experiments. He also belonged to the French Navy's information service and was sent on missions to Shanghai and Japan between 1935 and 1938. He was reportedly sent to the USSR in 1939. Costeau got married to Simone Melcoy on 12 July 1937. The couple had two sons. Jean Michael and Felipe. His two sons would later take part in his 1950 Calypso's adventure. During World War II, Costeau was made a gunnery officer aboard the Duplex. The area he was posted was occupied by the Germans, and this allowed Costeau to experiment with his photographic equipment and underwater diving in his free time. He also used these items of equipment for the French resistance movement. He later earned the Crux de Guerre due to his work. Costal soon realized that the standard diving gear had some limitations. The diver would have to remain tied to the ship and this restricted their movements. To overcome these limitations and improve the diving gears, Costal, together with engineer Emily Gagnon, began to work in 1937 to devise a solution. In 1942, Costal, with his two colleagues, Frederick Dumas and Felipe Tailles filmed his first 18-minute underwater movie called 60 Feet Down. Although technical limitations restricted the quality of the movie, the movie was critically acclaimed at the Cannes Film Festival. Costal and his colleagues soon developed a device with two tanks of compressed air, an automatic regulator, a hose, and a mouthpiece. This device was capable of providing air on demand. The trio patented this device as the Aqualong in 1943. With this new device, the group was able to explore the Dalton, a sunken British steamer. They also filmed their second underwater movie, Wreck. 
The French naval authorities were so impressed with this work that they helped him to continue with his research and commissioned Cousteau to assist in clearing mines from French harbor. The trio soon formed a group named Underwater Research Group and also developed several other water devices. On July 19, 1950, Costal purchased a converted U.S. minesweeper, Calypso, with which he conducted his first expedition with his two sons. The expedition was to Red Sea and it led to several discoveries of many unknown species of floras, faunas, and volcanic basins beneath the Red Sea. His second expedition to Tolon in 1952 brought great fame to Costal. During this mission, they were able to discover a wrecked Roman ship, Mardia, which was filled with treasures near the south coast of Grand Conglo. This was the group's first underwater archaeology operation. Soon after, Costal published his book The Silent World, which added immensely to his increasing eminence. The underwater research groups and developed a small submarine called Diving Saucer, or DS2. The diving saucer was easily navigable and helped them in several studies of deep undersea life. In 1955, Costal undertook another 13,800 mile expedition with Calypso. During this journey, Costal filmed the 90 minute movie version of his book, The Silent World. This movie earned him several awards and accolades. In 1957, Costal was appointed as the director of the Oceanographic Institute and Museum of Monaco. Costal demonstrated that underwater habitation was possible wherever the oceanauts could leave for weeks at a time through the Conch Shell Saturation Program. He also released the movie World Without Sun based on this project. In 1966, an hour-long TV program titled The World of Jackie's Costal was broadcast. This program received immense acclaim. The program also led to the popular show The Undersea World of Jackie's Costal. The show featured Costal with his sons and ran for eight seasons. In 1970, a non-profit environmental group named the Costal Society was established at Bridgeport, Connecticut. The group presently boasts of more than 300,000 membership. In 1977, Costal premiered the next series of his show titled Costal Odyssey. The show was about the conservation of oceanic life. In 1979, during the Calypso expedition to Portugal, Costal's second and most preferred son, Felipe, died in a PBY Catalina flying boat crash in the Tagus River near Lipson. This deeply affected Costal. Soon after, Costal personally discussed with several heads of states to limit commercial whaling. He also fought against the dumping of nuclear waste into the Mediterranean Sea. In 1980, Costal produced two television programs on the Greater St. Lawrence waters. That same year, he and his team members designed high-tech wind sails known as turbo sails, which helped in reducing the fuel consumption of ships on the ocean. In 1984, he produced a TV series called Costal Amazon. In 1985, he produced a TV show Costal Mississippi the Reluctant Ally, which later won an Emmy Award. Costal created other important inventions which include the Sea Spider, a multi-armed diagnostic device created to study the biochemical composition of the ocean surface. Altogether, Costal wrote over 50 books and produced over 115 TV films. Costal's wife, Simone, died of cancer on 2 December 1990. A year later, Costal remarried Francine Triplets in Paris. Long before the death of Simone, Costal had been having an affair with Francine, with whom he had two children, Diane in 1980 and Pierre Yves in 1982. Francine continued with Costal's work as the head of Costal Society and the Costal Foundation. Costal died on the 25th of June 1997 in Paris of cardiac arrest. He died two weeks after his 87th birthday. His remains were buried at his place of birth in the family vault of Saint Andre de Cubzac. The town paid him homage by naming the street which ran out of the house of his birth 
Rue du Commandant Costel, where a commemorative plaque was placed. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos.